What's up everybody? Chandler Barber back at it again with another pomade review. This time it is Roselle Blue. I have done the pink oil based, the green oil based which is a medium, pink is a heavy. This is water based um, so quite different. Um, I haven't used a water base since uh, the last one I used was Uppercut, and I also have a review video for that. You can check it out. Um, I've kind of gotten to the old, more into the old based world, so I've been doing more old based, uh, not so much water based. I have used this a couple times, and I actually really like it. A lot of the Ruzel products are really, really good, um, and they, I think they have a really solid line of, of products. So. This is the last little tin of the Roselle stuff that I've gotten recently, so this might be the, ba the last Roselle uh, review vid for a little while. We'll see. Anyway, this is the blue. It is a Stronghold Water Soluble Pomade. So, let's pop the lid, which this is a nice little tin. I've got the, the just the little travel size. Instantly met with a very vanilla scent. Um, it's supposed to be kind of like a warm vanilla, kind of woodsy scent. Um, strangely enough, this reminds me of my mom. Uh, growing up, she wore something with this scent. And when I first smelled it, it made me think of <laughs> just my childhood. I, some kind of perfume or something that she wore. Um, it's a nice, it's a nice smell. It just is, I don't know, I think mixed with that kind of nostalgic memory. It, um, when I first smelled it, I didn't really care for it. But it is a nice scent in the hair, for sure. Um, probably not my favorite, but, um, nice nonetheless. Um, I've used a good bit, but granted, this is a small tin. Um, what we have here is, um, let's get it out. It's pretty tough. Um, I would even say that this is thicker than, um, a similar to like, you know, like a gel type pomade like Suavecito or, um, you know, Layride or whatever that you've probably used before or maybe know of. But to me, this is probably the thickest scoop I've felt of a uh, of a gel pomade. Um, it's pretty thick. As you can see, it's very tacky, sticky. Um, but it's got a nice little kind of amber color. I guess that's what you would call kind of amber. Um, let's put it in the hair. Um, works smoothly in the hands, a little, a little tough, um, kind of has some friction with the, uh, kind of stickiness. Let's put it in the hair. So we get it, grab a little more. Yep, feels very similar to putting Swazito in. Or um, now the uppercut, the uppercut was really easy going in. It seemed like the easier one that I've tried going in, um, but it didn't feel as stiff. This kind of gives me more of like the stiff feel, um, but I like that just because it kind of it gives me. Um, it confirms me in that it's going to hold really well. And, um, thus far, what I've tried of this, it it holds really well. It holds throughout the day. Um, and it, it obviously washes out very easy. It's water-soluble, and they've done really good with that formula. 
Um, so if you're looking for, you know, something cleaner than like, you know, using an oil based, um, and you want to go in the water, uh, water based route, to me, this is one of the best ones that I've tried. Um, it's definitely up there with some other really good water based ones that I've tried. Anyway, this gives you an idea. I'm just slicking it back. Um, it's got a nice hold. And um, the shine is, is good. Really good shine. So it lives up to what it says. It's a heavy hold with a, um, you know, a high shine. And uh, all around, I would say this is a really good water soluble if you're looking to go that route. Um, definitely worth a try. Has a really good scent. If you like vanilla, it is pretty strong vanilla scent. So if you're not a fan of that, uh, this might not be your product. Um, but check all the, the Rizal products out. They have really good stuff. I've been really impressed by the, what I've tried and I look forward to uh, trying some more in the future. Um, but yeah, I would, uh, if I was going to rate this on 1 to 10, for a water based, I would probably give this a um, I'll give this a nine out of ten for the water based. Um, there's not too much uh, to complain here. Uh, complain about here, I I would buy it again if I was uh, wanting to do more water based stuff. Um, but let me know what you think. Have you tried this out? Do you like it? Also, <clears throat> what's some products that I should try? Um, if I like this one, what's some other products that I should try and what's some products that I should review? I'm doing oil-based pomades as well as water-based pomades. Um, anyway, thank you again for tuning in. Um, check out my other videos. Also, if you like this video, be sure to subscribe as I'm going to be putting out many more. And uh, until next time, keep it pumping.